Hi all, I'm Abhay Mahajan and I welcome you all to this series called United by Mathematics wherein I solve questions of different mathematics Olympiad across the world. So this is the question which was asked in UK 95, Junior Maths Olympiad. Let us read the question. So nine squares are arranged to form a rectangle as shown in the figure. The smallest square has the side of length one units. How big is the next smallest square and how about the area of the rectangle? So this is a very easy question, but this may be challenging for the students who are in class 8th and 9th, right? So let us look at the solution of this uh, problem. So there are two problems now. The first one is to identify the next smallest square. The second one is to form or to find the area of the rectangle of the figure thus formed. So let us look at the, let us look at the next smallest square. Let us identify the next smallest square from the figure first of all. So I'm assuming the side lengths of these squares as small letters. So let's say D square has the side length D. The square I has the side length small i. All right. So let this be the smallest square and let us call this A and whose side is small a. All right. Now from the figure, it is very clear that A is clearly less than F because A is less than F, A is the part of F, which is less than G, which is less than B, which is less than C, which in turn is less than D, which is less than I. All right. Now we've covered how many? We've covered seven squares, but there are a total of nine squares in here. All right. So what are left? So F is left. No, F is gone. E is left and H is left. So clearly we have E is less than F, which in turn is less than H. Now we have covered all these squares, right? So from this, it is very clear that the second smallest square is E. So we need to find the side length E. It is given that small a is one. And we also have to find the area of the rectangle. Now, this may be challenging in the sense that there may be a lot of equations which are to be formed. So we need to focus and identify what is to be uh, written and what is to be eliminated. Right. So let us start. Now, guys, if we look at this side length, this length. So can I say this is clearly A plus C? So this square and the C square. And this is also equal to E plus F. So remember the first objective is to find the value of E. So we need to find E. A is given, so we need to eliminate C and F. So how do we eliminate C and F? So A plus C. Now C can be written as B plus A. All right. So let us simplify left hand side only. I need to eliminate B as well. So B can be written as G plus A. So A plus, it will be G plus A plus A. I need to eliminate G as well. So G would be A plus F again. So A plus A plus F plus A plus A. I hope you all got this. So G is the sum of this length plus this length. So A plus F. So this becomes 4A plus F. And this is equal to E plus F. So if I eliminate F, I get E as 4A, which is 4. So this solves one part of the problem. That is that finding the length of the second smallest square, which is coming out to be 4 in this case. Now the next objective is to find the length of the rectangles, both the lengths of the rectangles and hence find the area of the rectangle. Now to do this, so what we do is we start from the largest square that is i. So i is clearly equal to d plus e. All right. And i is also equal to i is also equal to this length. And this length is nothing but f plus h minus e. So f plus h would give me this length. If I subtract e, I'll get i. So I have found the length and the width in two different ways. So let us try to simplify these two. So remember we know e and we know 
a. So the idea is to find the length of all the squares and hence find the length and width of the rectangle. So d plus e, if I, if I substitute the value of d as c plus e, so it will be c plus 2e. And c, I can write as e plus f minus a. So it will be e plus f minus a plus 2e. So we have 3f or 3e plus f minus a. On the other hand, if I solve f plus h minus e, so it will be f plus h. Let us try to eliminate h. So how do we eliminate h? f plus g is f plus g minus e because e is known to us. So it will be 2f. Let us try to eliminate g as well now. Now g will be f plus a. So it will be f plus a minus e and that solves our purpose because on both sides only f is the unknown a and e are known. So if I equate these two so we have we have this will be 3f plus a minus e. So we have 2f plus 2a is equal to 4e. But f will be 4e minus 2a upon 2. So e is 4. So 16 minus 2 is 14 upon 2 is 7. So f comes out to be 7. Now using this, I can find out all the other lengths. So what we have is e is known, a is known, f is known. So what can we find now? We can easily find what? c. c will be e plus f minus a. So we have 7 plus 4, 11 minus 1. That means C is coming out to be 10. C is coming out to be 10. Okay. Now C is B plus A. A is 1. So B will be 9. Alright. What else do we have? G would be B minus A. So G would be 8 h h would be f plus g so h would be f plus g that means it will be 15 what else do we have d okay we can also find d d is c plus e so d will be 10 plus e is 14 so d will be 14 how about i i would be d plus e d plus e so i would be 18 I would be 18. This is I. So now we have found all the lengths, all the squares. So we can easily calculate the length and the width. So the length of the rectangle would be D plus E. So if I have to calculate the length of the rectangle, it will be D plus I. So it comes out to be 14 plus I. What is I? I is here okay 14 plus 18 is 32 and if I have to calculate the width it will be I plus H and I plus H is giving me 33 and hence the area of the rectangle thus formed is 32 into 33 which is coming out to be 1056. So the answer to this question was 1056 which is the area of the rectangle and the length of the smallest second smallest square which is e was coming out to be 4. I hope you've enjoyed the calculations and you liked the questions. For more feedback and if you want me to solve the questions of your country's Olympiad please mail me. Take care.